Hi Year 6, hopefully you enjoyed your White Rose Hub session on um, algebra and substitution within algebra. Algebra is one of my favourite things that we do in maths, okay, and today I like to think of it as a little bit like a, of a code breaking. Today they were kind, they gave us the values of our symbols and our letters, so hopefully today wasn't too tricky, but I am going to go over just a few questions that I think we might have struggled with. So the first one I'm going to go through today is question 5, okay. I'm going to link it back if we remember our fractions, percentages and decimals work, the equivalents. Because here we've got a fraction and we've got a decimal, okay? So to work out the value of m plus 2k, we have to have them in a similar format, okay? So I'm going to choose to change my four fifths into a decimal. So last week we learnt, okay, that one fifth okay, is the decimal equivalent of 0 0.2. So then we know then that 4 fifths is the decimal equivalent of 0 0.8 because it's 4 times bigger. So then m plus 2k is asking me for 0 0.8 at two lots of 0 0.1, so that's 0 0.2, okay? Hopefully we can see, if we're thinking of this money, if we're finding it tricky, that 0 0.8 ATP at 0 0.2, 20p is the same as one pound or one whole one, okay? So the thing there is making sure we convert our four fifths into a decimal. The next question I'm going to go through is question six, only because I'm hopeful that we would all be confident as to why mo is correct, okay? So he says it does not matter what p and q are, p plus q and q plus p will always be the same answer. I'm hopeful everybody has said yes, because we've talked about this before. It's because the idea that these are commutative, addition can be done in any order, thinking about our family of four, okay? So, you know, if p, for example was seven and Q was nine, okay, we could say, well, seven add nine, so that's P plus Q, okay, is 16. And if I did Q plus P, okay, so that's nine add seven, it will still be 16 because it's commutative. It doesn't matter what order we do it in, it is commutative. Okay, that was one of our problems last week on last Wednesday when I did a session with you. The last question I'm going to come to is question 10. Okay, I'm confident that we'd be able to do the first three rows of filling in our table following that 5x is 5 lots of 2, 5x plus 1 is 5 lots of 2 and then taking away 1 and following them. I'm just going to come to the final three rows because we're not given what x is, so we've got to work out what x is. So thinking here, okay, 25 is five lots of x, so that's five times x. So I need to do the inverse, the opposite, to find out what x is. So I've got to divide 25 by five to find out what x is. So hopefully we can see that's five. Here, we already know that 5x is 25, so I've just got to follow it and take away 1, which gives me 24, okay? Here, okay, we've got, we've got what 5x take away 1 is, okay? So if I'm wanting to know what 5x is, rather than we've got 5x take away 1, rather than take away 1, again, I've got to do the inverse. So the inverse of subtraction is addition, so I've got to add 1, so that gives me 35. And just like before, five lots of x, so I've got to divide by five to give me the answer seven. Same with our last one, okay, following that strategy, so we've got to add on one to do the inverse, so our five x is a hundred, and then we've got to divide a hundred by five to get what x is, so we've got 20, okay. Hopefully that was helpful and you have enjoyed your work on algebra today. If you do have any other questions about some of the other questions on the sheet, please do ask. Have a good day.